it was it was also very interesting and i don't know if this was a pandemic thing or not because i'm not i don't have as much like study the market of TikTok from beginning to end type of thing as you do. But it seemed to me the pandemic really drew out a lot of very creative entrepreneurial ways of utilizing TikTok to create things like the Bridgerton musical. And before that, there was the other musical, I think that uh, I can't, I mm-hmm. can't remember which one, but like, there was like all these really big things that happened, your story that happened and, and a lot of creators that really got big over the, during the pandemic as people were home and trying to figure out how to entertain themselves and other people uh, during that time. Do you think that that is going to continue? Like what is your prediction for the future of TikTok specifically uh, since we're talking about that, but also just social media in general and how people engage with it and how people who want to create for that can. Well, during the pandemic, we did see the rise of video content creation because people were at home. They had time, they were bored, they wanted to create things and they wanted to consume things. And so we did see a lot of growth on TikTok in general, but also within the creatorship of the app. We saw a lot of people flourish and get very, very creative. And that's something that is ongoing. We are seeing people innovate and twist things because from the very beginning of this, the entire goal was to innovate, was to take something we understood and knew and change it into something better. So even with these trends, we see people doing the trends and then we see people twisting the trends and making it a step up and elevating it just a little bit. So as we're continuing through with social media in general, we're seeing a strong leaning toward vertical based video content in the short form under 60 seconds long. The shorter, the better. If you can make a seven second video, you're going to perform better than a 30 second video. And so as people are progressing with this, we're seeing a lot of education. We're seeing a lot of instructional content. Right now, Instagram and TikTok are heavily leaning into instructional-based content, step-by-step of how to do things. We're seeing a lot of that educational content where we're learning about things. They're bringing in entrepreneurs and businesses. So not only do we have the creative and the entertaining, but we have the business side of things. So we're seeing platforms just grow and expand incredibly because people are showing up and engaging with their audiences. And because we have that creative element to it now, entrepreneurs can now add in this creative element so that they can be on par with the really creative video people and compete for that time and effort. And people scrolling through the apps will stop to watch these more creative type videos. So we will continue to see a lot of entrepreneurship grow very, very strongly on these platforms and the ones that innovate and get creative and try new things and are willing to put themselves out there and are developing community and conversation are the ones that are going to skyrocket their businesses. I myself have 7 x my book sales in one single month on TikTok just from showing up and that is going to continue to grow and flourish and we're seeing Instagram sway this way, we're seeing YouTube sway this way, all the social platforms platforms are moving heavily toward really inventive video vertical short form content. 